days here, temperatures during the day have been reaching 40 degrees, low 40s Fahrenheit, and starting to create wet snow avalanche hazards. At night, we have had temperatures in the low 30s and clear skies, which has allowed a crust to form on the surface, which supported our sleds on the way in. And when we get off our sleds and, and try to break through that crust, it's actually fairly supportable below that crust. And so that's a good sign that once this crust does break down, avalanches that we can trigger will be three, four inches deep, maybe a little deeper into this snow. Below that, on these slopes that have gotten a lot of sun and warm temperatures before early in March, that snowpack is pretty solid. And so we're not too concerned right now about really deep, wet avalanches. So our main concern is that when that crust melts, we'll start to be able to trigger small, wet, loose avalanches. And we want to be off of steep slopes before that happens. So anticipating where we're going to be avoiding before we're sinking up to our, our angle or our move in wet snow. And if we are sinking into wet snow, seek lower angle terrain.